Look at that, folks. That's an old top of a pop top can that's rusted away. But that's the way and mud and gunk and all that's covered over the years. It's kind of crazy. It just kind of blends in. Well, howdy folks, Sean here from HikingWithSean.com and today we are at Rimrock here in the Shawnee National Forest. Here we are and we're not really, we're going to go down here and do the main trail kind of and then we're going to get to here and we're going to follow this bluff line and we're going to go off towards initial tree and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to do. You to come with us. Let's go see some bluffage. Alrighty folks, here's some bluffage here at Rimrock. It's really visible right now. There's all the leaves off the tree, trees. So, nice, nice area. Well, we're going to go to the bluffs you see over this way. Oh uh, no, never mind, those are different bluffs. Alrighty folks, enjoying views of the bluffage here at Rimrock. Approaching Oxlock Cave. Bunch of little birds. It's cute. Wow, they're all over. We'll, we'll check out the cave here and then um, cross the creek. Here's the cave, Oxlock Cave. Here's a interesting perspective of um, Oxlock Cave. You don't really see it this like this too much. It's pretty cool. Crossing over now, getting to the bluffage. All right, folks. Here's some cool, cool bluffage shelter over on the other side of. Ox lot following this bluff line. We'll follow it to a certain point where we'll hit kind of private and then we'll skirt around it and do some more. All sorts of mushrooms. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, cute. Nice and moist over here. Moist. moist. <laughs> Very cool. Michelle's with the cute mushrooms. <laughs> She's cute. Man. Crazy cute. <laughs> the mushrooms are probably like, oh, it's Michelle. Hey, Michelle. <laughs> the mu it's that mushroomologist. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. Really cool area right here. All sorts of boulders. Enjoy a hike through the boulders. Nice and dry through here, so if it came down to rain, pretty good. This would be a good place to stay out of the rain. Keep dry. Definitely cool. All sorts of little cubby holes for critters. I'm sure they use it. <laughs> yep. They even pose funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, know, you use what you got. Yeah. Yeah. I get hungry enough. I'm not hungry. Yep. Eating some squirrels. <laughs> they already don't like me. <laughs> I'd really dislike you. Huh? You know, that one threw something at you yeah. because you were with me. Because I was associating with you. Yeah. <laughs> Quite pretty. Quite a few old fire pits in this area where people have made a little camp, bushcraft camp or whatever. Little ones, little fire pit there. 
pretty interesting. Nice shelter. It's like right above my head, so I'm able to kind of walk at a certain side of it without crack, crunching my head. So that's always a plus. Just a cool, cool area. Quite interesting bluffage here in this territory. Michelle's always looking down, looking for different rocks, fossils, and bugs, all sorts of stuff. Free money. Free money, of course. <laughs> I need to look down more myself. You can always see interesting stuff you left behind. All right, folks. Just in case you don't know, you are here. I'm not a big fan of tree carvings, but kind of funny. <laughs> I did, you know, choose a beach. I did choose a beach. This rock was attached at one time. Kind of looks like it could be a drop off down there, so I'm not going to go down it. Probably have to go down here. Cool bluffage. Boulder tunnels. Little water fodder. Oh, little water fodder, I said. <laughs> little waterfall. <laughs> water fodder. Water. Father in German. <laughs> Wasser Father. <laughs> so anyway, um, a little waterfall is better than no waterfall at all. Really cool here, all the moss on the rocks. Probably from all the moisture from the waterfall. Get ready for the growth. Got to be careful of the rocks. Lift rocks. There's Michelle. Mm -hmm. There's me. At some new bluffage for the new year. <laughs> I about passed this up and I told her, I said, I want to kind of go around the corner and see if there's anything over here. I saw this big shelter. So glad I, uh, my instinct said to check it out because it's cool. It's definitely cool. I'm slide that way so I have a shorter jump right here. Would I could I'll probably catch you. I could probably make it, but I don't know if my legs would. <laughs> I said I'd catch you. <laughs> you don't trust me? I see how you are. <laughs> All right, folks. More cool. Shelter, shelter ridge here. It's crazy. Definitely new book. It's pretty deep. All right, folks. A little Barrens area, really cool. I love these spots. Just kind of out of the world, tops of bluffs. Just interesting. Interesting looking. Open. Just really cool.
beautiful. Beautiful cedar trees. That aren't being butchered down yet. Hopefully they don't. Yeah, this is an amazing spot. All right, so we're hiking on Black Ridge, Sparks Hill, whatever you want to call it, the road. Take you to Thacker and all that. And we found the wagon trail. And this is, I've not been on this part of the wagon trail. So we're just going to take the wagon trail up and check it out. And see what we can't find up here. So this is, a, this wagon trail is a new thing for the horse people um, and hikers. I don't know if bikes are allowed on it. Maybe not. <laughs> but... You can get to Double M this way, and we'll probably take offshoot trails. I don't really want to go to Double M, but um, but Double M's nice, from what I hear. If you're into horseback, so, and maybe we'll find some old settlement because this is an interesting looking area. All right, folks. Here's a cool bent tree. And a random set of oh, it's for horses to get yeah, up. I said it's for oh. horses to get on their to mount. And then over here is a cabin. The last time we were here, I feel like there was more to it, so it's quite a bit has fallen in. Don't know who it belonged to. A horse rider said it. Maybe a Boy Scout troop at some point. So kind of cool. It's still, uh, you know, somewhat, uh, the cabin is still somewhat visible, so that's kind of interesting. Right, here you have it. Pretty cool. Definitely old old guttering and stuff so it's it's probably new fairly new there's concrete in it and stuff like that so um probably did belong to that boy scouts and they got a ribbon around it so if they ever do a prescribed burn they would not burn this part because it's historical so always neat There's a well, folks. And I have a Gaia map that I look at. And I look for old, old, these like squares. And there's like no square through here. So that usually indicates that this side is older than the 1930s. Um, or it was taken out before the 30s when they, um, when they made this map. So it's an old old home site off the trail. Um, obviously, so there's a. Show them what made us think. And, an yeah, and I'll tell you what what made us think. But I like to mark every well, and you can see right there. Um, just in case, well, I like to know where the old home sites are, but just in case anyone goes missing kind of showing well locations but what made us think it was a home site was this big tree right here this wolf tree because it's, it's big it's gnarly and it's different from the rest of the trees and then just in this general area it just looks like less trees so something was here you know the trees here are smaller and there's a couple of these wolf trees so somewhere around here we'll see a uh, the home site but usually there's nothing left aside from a few rocks or something like that so that's how we kind of figure it out there's like a faint trail through here could be just a game trail or it could be maybe a place where horse riders kind of rode up to look you can see some of these trees have been cut but uh 
Yeah, so that's, that's how you can kind of find home sites. All right, folks, got us a pond, old pond. First, I thought it was a sinkhole, but I don't know why these trees grow around it. Definitely a pond. And gnarly looking tree up here. Could be settlement somewhere. Yep. Yeah. Huh. Definitely on a hill now. Spot. All righty, folks. We're on trail 183, which is Pounds Ridge, and we're hiking um, a loop pretty much. You know, the Pounds, Pounds Lake is down below. I can kind of see it through the trees, and uh, hoping we'll come up to the arch, show you that, and uh, the Pounds Hollow Arch. All right, folks, we got us a high line here, and I do believe this is Pounds Hollow Arch. Down on the other side of it here, and you'll be able to see the lake through the arch, archway. Yep, it's pretty cool. There you go. That's the lake. Down in that, you can see through there. Pounds Hollow Arch. Pretty cool. All right, we'll go through the arch. Hopefully, I don't hit my head. <laughs> Got to duck down on this, Big Daddy. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get a running head start off the side of the bluff here. <laughs> it's just falling back. There's Michelle coming through the arch. Oh. I don't know what, why you were groaning. Okay, you don't know either. <laughs> and there's an itty bitty window right through there. <laughs> so, really cool here. Cool banding. It's a really cool natural arch. There's a buoy, a couple buoys. Here is the, some of the spillway here. Main spill lights up here, but here's the Pounds Lake. We still need to get our kayaks here at some point. We've hiked up that hill. That was tough. <laughs> and this would be a mess in the summer, I do believe. <laughs> that is a pretty lake though. This kind of reminds me of a section of Tunnel Hill Trail um, where, where the River to River Trail crosses if you get on the River to River Trail part. So we will have to go up the hill at some point because we're going to loop around the lake and get back to Rim Rock. All right, there's the spillway. It's spilling way over there. <laughs> All right, folks, we're, we're close to the beaver trail, which kind of takes you towards Cadiz and stuff like that. It just so happens there's a beaver dam. <laughs> you can even see the, the trail it takes up the side of the hill there. So. All right, folks, we're on Pounds Hollow Beach Road, and there's this tree that has fallen, right? They cut it, you know, they cut it out of the roadway, but look, when it fell, it dug up asphalt. So, that's pretty crazy. 
and it went off there. That's pretty nuts. <laughs> I bet that was loud. All right, we're at Historic Pounds Hollow Beach. Occupied by Native Americans 11,500 years ago. 17 and 1800s settlers came and cleared much of what had been a vast wilderness. And in the 1930s, the CCC came and pretty much made it what it is today. I really wish they would redo that sign and put it up. All right. We are hiking back to Rimrock on a portion of the beaver trail. Um, this keeps going. At that point you can get to Cadiz and if you go the other way. We did that before. Alrighty folks, nearing the T where we turned to go to Oxlock Cave and then crossed over the creek to hike the bluffage. And we'll hike back up to the parking lot. Alright folks, here's the bluffage on the way back. Definitely looks different on the way back. You've seen it at a different angle. As we go up, Michelle typically chooses trails with a lot of hills. Mm -hmm. She's a hill crusher. <laughs> All right, folks. We've done about 5.6 miles. Coming out of the trail now. Hope you like the video. Like, share, comment. All that good stuff. Subscribe. I'm going up a hill. Mm -hmm. And until next time, we'll see you on the trail.